This is the CRKT Overland, and it's designed by TJ Schwartz. TJ uh, is responsible for a lot of really cool knife designs. Uh, he designed the Koenig Arius uh, way back in the day when he was in college. He designed the uh, the Torrent that was made by Millet, and then they made a version of that for CRKT. He designed the CRKT Periscale. He designed this here, uh, this here Overland, the the Caligo. Um, I'm forgetting others, but he's a very prolific young knife designer, and um, I interviewed him on the Knife Junkie podcast. Great guy, very interesting um, conversation, talking about his process and and how he uh, how his career came to be, and um, this was a knife I hadn't had my hands on yet when we spoke, but I wish I did, because I really uh, like this knife quite a bit. This this is one of those knives, I'll get, I'll just say it right out, this is one of those knives that I wish CRKT would use as a springboard um, into their more high-end, you know, like they came out with a shock. They go from selling like $30 knives to a $750 knife with the shock, with that deadbolt. And I know it was kind of a proof of concept thing, but uh, if when I think of CRKT, I think of great design with, uh, you know, budget materials, which is awesome. It's great to be able to get great design into many, many, many hands. But how great would it be if they would just do some of these fabulous designs uh, also in an elite or a high-end uh, uh, line? And this is one of those knives. So this is this little three inch beauty. This is a three inch blade. Uh, this is, uh, you got G10 here on this side and it is a, uh, a steel frame lock, as you can see here, eight CR 13 MOV steel, which, uh, uh, you know, CRKT is very experienced with and does a good job with and all that. All those things being said, you got a deep carry loop over pocket clip, even though it leaves a bit out there, which is nice. Very nice, uh, anodized, aluminum backspacer and um <clears throat> what do you call that pivot ring thing pivot collar and just a classy beautiful design very thin very light uh and presumably very capable i haven't done much with it uh but imagine this in m390 in titanium with micarta holy mackerel i'd pay 200 bucks for it especially if the blade was four inches um, so all that being said, I really, really love this TJ Schwartz designed, um, Overland, Overland. He's got a really cool aesthetic. Uh, I know he's, he's very interested in World War II and, uh, you can see that in a lot of his products, but I mean, to me, this one, it looks like a piece of military kit from World War II uh, as interpreted through 2020 and, you know, the 21st century. Um, but I just, like, to me, this reminds me of a plane somehow, an airplane, an aeroplane from the, from World War II. Um, and he's got a whole line of products, uh, from his own, uh, under his own label that are not just knives, but are interesting things like he's got a comb that folds into a beautiful leather handle um, and, uh, a lot of other cool things. You should go to, uh, TJ Schwartz website and check out some of the cool, uh, products he designs outside of knives or alongside of knives. Um, so CRKT, make an XL version of this, make a large version of this. Look at this thing. This is three inches, but imagine it at three and a half or four inches. You could, this could be a great, uh, with that, with this, the way this handle is angled, to the blade, this could be a great folding kitchen knife. You know, a lot of people like to use their folding knives in the kitchen. Well, the way this blade uh, is presented to the knuckles and to the rest of the um, handle, you could do a lot of cutting uh, chores on flat surfaces with this if, if you so desired. But I mean, just an excellent EDC knife and not for nothing, but it, it would be an excellent uh, tactical knife if you had to use it as such. Um, even though it's got this sort of modified, you know, bellied worn cliff kind of shape, it'd be an excellent, uh, penetrator for sure. And, uh, 
you know, in, in both orientations, whether you have it in like this Pical grip or this uh, um, Sook Sook, I think it's called, or whatever, a straight standard saber grip, uh, that point, because of that belly and the curve of the blade and this angle here, that point is right down center line, so perfect for thrusting if you needed to. Or, you know, how excellent for getting into a very stubborn piece of packaging or clamshell. Uh, I'm doing a video right now, babe. Yeah. Uh, right here, this tip, it's very sturdy. Um, and you could really you could get into stuff with this. I haven't done uh, any work with this or any sort of cutting with this. It's not my knife. It comes to me through the Apex Pass Around group. And um, I'm, I'm glad I finally got it. Uh, uh, it was in other people's hands for a while, and I think I see why. It's a great knife. I <laughs> I really enjoy it. Uh, let me compare it to a couple of knives that it reminds me of, or that it might be in the same, um, you know, purpose or use realm with. Uh, here it is with a, a bug out. Now, this bug out has a couple of accoutrements on it uh, from... Uh, Snaggletooth Tactical, they just sent me, or Rob Penna over there just sent me the Snaggletooth uh, pocket deployer that fits the bug out. And I asked for the left hand side. I like the way the left feels uh, better than the righty version, but uh, both are awesome. Also has this uh, ring pull on it, also from Snaggletooth Tactical. But about the same, uh, you know, basically the same package size. This, by the way, though it's a steel frame lock, is very, very light. They did a little bit of pocketing on the inside there, and it's all very thin, so it adds to the lightness of it. Uh, here it is with your Warncliffe Delica. Uh, same universe, you know, almost the same size. The Delica is just a little bit shy, I think, uh, blade-wise. And here it is with a uh, Spidey Chef, which... It's kind of its spiritual uh, uh, big brother in a way. It kind of has some of the same design language there. Um, same sort of curviness. Of course, this is a, this has been modified. Uh, Mike Emler did that for me. To put a beautiful finish on there too. I asked him to leave the titanium all snail traily though. This is a great knife that I don't carry enough, but uh, well something to remedy, isn't it? Uh, I'll compare it to the only other CRKT I have uh, in my collection right now, as I got recently got rid of my old Liang Ma eraser. Uh, but uh, here it is compared to the Provoke, or Evoke, or whatever, whatever this knife is called, but it's a beautiful, uh, oh, Provoke, uh, Caswell, Joe Caswell designed uh, Morphing Karambit. That's the custom version. See, this is the kind of stuff CRKT takes on. This is in D2 steel, and uh, I paid 200 bucks for it because that, that's amazing design and engineering. And the fact that CRKT brings you amazing design, and in this case, engineering, uh, from designers who otherwise you'd be way out of their price range. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a pretty excellent service to, to bring us knife nerds. So... You know, even though they're very, very, very different knives, they're kind of in the same universe because they are amazingly designed knives from uh, from people whose work would be out of reach otherwise. And then here, this last one, kind of in the same uh, spiritual uh, realm as well, uh, but maybe slightly less gur. Uh, but this is the uh, um, Lion Steel made Bastinelli designed uh, Drag Attack big drag attack this is what four and a half inch blade something like that uh, but it has that same sort of angle down to the blade that same sort of um uh blade to handle angle um which allows a lot of blade to hit the whatever surface before your knuckles that's basically why i'm showing this comparison also has that sort of modified worn cliffy uh bellied upsweep thing going for it so there you have it uh this is the crkt overland designed by tj schwartz uh schwartz please go check out my uh interview with him on the knife junkie podcast that was uh when we were audio only uh but still i mean those interviews are all awesome um because i talk to great people 
not because I conduct awesome interviews, but because I, I, I think I'm good at get, getting some very interesting people on the show, and TJ Schwartz is no uh, exception. So here it is, The Overland by CRKT, a highly desirable knife uh, that is very budget-oriented, and uh, I highly recommend it. It's an awesome knife.